dresses and stuff and um i'm assuming they're gonna get wrinkled which i know that's why hotels have um ironing boards and stuff but still i'm like ooh. i also feel like i'm packing a ton but i have been notorious for not packing enough and then it bites me in the butt so i'm gonna overcompensate this time and see what i actually end up using so the majority of my stuff like clothes wise packed but now i need to find dress shoes and like hygiene and stuff <laughs> so i'm bringing like a large stack of sanitary wipes or like clorox wipes because coronavirus we don't know her we don't want her and we are going to be sanitizing everything literally everything we have a problem i forgot something very important at home clearly this is my first rodeo otherwise this would not happen flight leaves at 6 30 it's five o'clock my father, God, that man is a saint, but he just got home now, and it takes about a half hour to get back here, and then I'll have to go through security again, and so I'm cutting it real close. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. I am so embarrassed, but fingers crossed it all works out. We've got a couch, a little wet bar, whatever that means. Very large king bed. Living for this. Oh my gosh. Where's the light? Where's the light? Oh, ugh. Got large mirror here. Oh, perfect if I need to iron. And then nice little shower. It has been a pretty long day of travel. Okay, so I'm staying at the Hyatt, and across the street, there's the Hyatt, but it's super fancy. Like, I walked in, I was like, oh my god, this is not fit for me. She's like, ma'am, you're at the wrong Hyatt, and you can't even compare the two. Like, this is very nice, but um, the other one was like, whoa. So I'll insert pictures to show. But I'm so hungry, so I need to go get food. But then I also have to get going really fast. Updates. To come. I haven't eaten since 4 a.m. this morning and it's like 3 o'clock right now and so I'm gonna run across the street to Chick-fil-A. I know being super cultured but I have to leave soon so <laughs> we're gonna make this zippy and then come back and get ready. This bougie place was the thought I was the place I thought I was staying and I was quickly humbled to learn I wasn't. We'll be revived. Okay we got Waffle fries. So long. With Chick-fil-A sauce, of course. A ch classic chicken sandwich. So I'm gonna feast. Oh, and I got an iced tea, but I decided I don't think I like iced tea. And of course, I had to use my reusable metal straw. Hey folks, this is as good as it is going to get. Um, we have to go. <laughs> okay, folks, we are back. I didn't get to film anything at the event because it's a work event and I needed all my focus on work, but it went so well. It's just, I'm feeling very grateful, you know, that I'm here and that like I have the opportunity to do things like this because I don't know, it's really freaking cool. It's like 9.40 right now and I just got home looking like an absolute hot mess. I have to be up early tomorrow because I have a meeting at nine. And then I have another event tomorrow, and uh, it's just, just like, this trip has been, I've only been here like six hours, and I just feel 
really blessed. I have come to the responsible decision that I'm going, leaving out, venturing out to find junk food because I will refuse to be confined to a hotel room when there are sweets to be discovered, shall we? Change of plans. I just post made the steak and shake. I'm dead tired, but I just feel like this... I deserve it, you know? It's just a, a fun thing to do. I got a red velvet Oreo milkshake and fries. Like, if that doesn't scream heart disease, I don't know what will. Eating habits on this trip thus far are just not up to par. Oh my gosh, they're tiny. They're like not good. This looks bomb, so. Hell yeah. Census, steak, freight, or sh steak and shake fries are not good. They're like too thin, but they're good to dip. If you're not doing this, what are you doing? We are off. Goodbye to hotel room number one. You did not disappoint in the least bit. I'm heading, oh, I just like don't look good. I'm heading to a meeting and then checking into my second and last hotel room, but I'm gonna need like a liter of coffee because I, I'm, I think I'm hitting a wall, which rightfully so. I have not been doing a lot of sleeping, but Nevertheless, we persist. Oh my. Let's see the V. Oh! What? What is this? I have a lunch meeting. Like, what? who am I? This is not the norm at all. Um, so I'm going to lift there because I walked here and it's pouring right now and that was just like a big mistake. So I'm going to take a lift there and he'll be here in five minutes. So I will head down. I love Atlanta. So I've been to Georgia one time before when I visited my friend in Athens, but um, I never was in Atlanta and it's just so, it's such a unique city. If I have time, I would love to go to the aquarium. That would be ideal, so we'll see. So it is a couple hours later. I've just been working at the hotel room. So um, I don't remember. Oh, for lunch, I had deep fried chicken and waffles and no, I don't know how people eat that stuff. Like, it was so good while I was eating it, but I just took a nap and I woke up and I feel so, like, nauseous and just disgusting. It's just not prime, but consequences. I also don't think I've had a vegetable since I've been here, and that is clearly just, like, my fault because they are available. I just have been wanting to try like all the southern food. So I am getting ready um, for our second and final event tonight. I have to leave in about an hour and so I really need to pull this together because I look horrible. I definitely, my sleep deprivation has definitely caught up on me. I took a nap and I didn't want to get up, but that's how I am whenever I take naps. So we have our last and final event tonight. It's probably gonna go till I'm like, nine or ten i don't know i really want to ride the ferris wheel so maybe after the event i'll like take a lift there and just ride it once atlanta i have to do something touristy i didn't get a chance to go to the aquarium just because i have not had like downtime and so i guess i'll just have to come back um, i don't even like really like aquariums i just have heard really great things about the Atlanta one. Something about like animals in captivity and the smell of fish is just not a great combo, but I would like to at some point. I'm not feeling too good physically, but I know it's because of what I've been eating. Last night, post meeting, shake, shat, steak and shake at midnight was not a good move. 
I woke up the next morning and like almost threw up. So my body's literally rejecting my eating habits. Finished getting ready. Hopefully I can pull myself together more or less. And then I will check back in when I'm not looking like this. Okay, so I'm in the lobby of my hotel right now, and I was planning on going to dinner before the event, but I was on my laptop, and Minnesota's one hour behind of Atlanta, and so when I finally got ready and left, I realized, oh my gosh, I don't have time to go to dinner, so I have to go straight to my event right now, which is fine, because I'm not that hungry, but I will be very hungry post-event. Okay, it's 11 o'clock at night, and I'm on the search for, like, some candy, so... I am praying that there's a vending machine in this hotel. We found this area, and so I'm excited to pay like $6 for this, but uh, it's worth it. Oh my god. The biggest inflation I've ever seen. These two things cost $8. Like, that's just not... That's just not even right south hotel let's go home oh bt dubs my hygiene has never been worse i feel disgusting you know we only have an eight hour travel day ahead of us until you know cleanliness so a little update my flight got delayed literally six and a half hours so I've just been meandering. I think I'm going on meal four at the airport, but Atlanta airport's actually really sick, so I'm going to try to find like the underground tunnel um, to learn about history. The healthy eating habits continue. <laughs> Blessed. All right, folks, so I'm officially back from my trip. My flight was delayed in total, I think a little over five hours, but we made it, it's 10 o'clock now. Rise and shine tomorrow, cause I'm back at the office. But... Yay! Whoa! Um, Someone's yeah, gotta was, work. It was a really great trip, super fun, learned a lot. Um, but I'm gonna go home and sleep now. Pause.